Welcome to 5 Minutes Cosmos Educational Video. So today we will be talking about Enable API Server in App Tumblr. So before we go into that, there's something about no configuration. It consists of three parts, App Tumblr, configuration for Cosmos Server, Client Tumblr configuration for client CLI interaction with Node and uh, config Tumblr configuration for Tenamin server. So um, there are many complex fields in these three files. For the scope of this chapter, we will only talk about app Tumblr and client Tumblr. Okay, let's get back to our lesson. Uh, for Tumblr, a beginner should only need to know about how to enable an API server. Uh, let's get starting. Uh, firstly, let's initialize the node. Uh, you can find the code to initialize the node here. Should you forget about lesson one? Um, that in my case I have initialized one and uh, you can find it in home slash dot bb slash config and you can uh, later find this paragraph here so um, some fields that you should care about enable field to define the API server should be enabled or not a swagger for documentation of API server service uh, address for API server to listen on and cross option cross origin access so um, to learn more about it you can go into Google and search for one here to understand what it means so in some case, when you try to access your API server, it will block. And uh, that's when you need to enable this one to gain access to your API server. So that should cover the basic. Um, for changing it, uh, you can check directly here for, like, for part uh, put in something anything for my case here I set it to 1310 this view should go true as well and uh, let's deploy the node again I'm going to check it and as you can see here, the API server is online. So uh, for homework, uh, please try to change API server address in app Tumblr. Uh, run the node again and browse it to make sure that it is accessible. Uh, for more tweak into app Tumblr, so um, I suggest you should look over gRPC configuration. Um, state sync is a really good one as well. And there's also uh, IAVL disable fast node. So in some advanced case, we want to enable fast node but uh, it will require a higher level understanding of Cosmos stack. So um, you can check around it to see how it change. And uh, that's just some exploring. 
and um, for the scope of our lesson here that should be the end of it so thanks for listening and um, see you in the next one